Hi friends. My son gave me the day off from doing all of the long list of things he's got for me to do. So we're gonna go for a ride today out into the Cienegas grasslands, Empire Ranch Road. Let's go for a ride. Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. Here we are going uh, north out of Senoida towards the Empire Ranch Road on Cienegas National Grasslands. Mount Wrightson, and to the north of that, Madeira Canyon. Santa Rita's. The Santa Rita Mountains. And we're turning to the Empire Ranch River. Empire Ranch Cowboy Festival. Oh, I forgot. What's today? Uh, I, it's over already. Today is like the 13th or something. That's, that's good. Otherwise, there's going to be a traffic jam out here. I want a chuck wagon. Ooh, me too. It's called Baccarus. Yeah. I saw some of it when we were um, the other day when we were out there by that water. Mm -hmm. And it just looked like little bottle brushes on the end of it. We're down by the Empire Ranch House. And if you want to see the ranch house, I made a video of it a year ago. We're going to go on the Heritage Discovery Trail here. See a few butterflies looking for a little water? On the other side of this pole is a lizard. Oh, a lizard. Yeah. It's a little tiny one. Huh? Right there. Hi, guy. Hello, cutie pie. Oh, thank you. Turned around for the picture. That one. Kind of a little... Oh, and check out the size Ooh. of that grasshopper. Kind of a lever. <sighs> we were just talking about. Oops. <laughs> I'm on a picture of the grasshopper. Holy moly, look how big that is. Plains lubber. Plains lubber. 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 Yep. We're underneath one of the cottonwoods. I love cottonwood trees. I've said this before. And that is a grand one. Some of these grand old cottonwoods were killed by a fire some years ago. Look at that. I want to build a tree house right there. Some perspective. The Mustang Mountains in the distance. Cienegas National Grasslands. This is another day we went out to the grasslands there in the same area with a friend named Les, who's a professional photographer. We were looking for birds that day. So this is our friend Les. Hey, what's up? And I just wanted to show you that uh, Les has a camera. And uh, I don't know if you noticed, but... Uh, that's my camera, <laughs> and I, I made a comment, verify if I'm telling the truth now, Les. Yes, size matters. That wasn't the comment. <laughs> the comment was that you took a picture and you showed it to me, and I said, oh, wow, that's what a great camera can do, or is it a, the good photographer? It's the photographer. It's the photographer. <laughs> yeah, so there's hope for me and my little camera. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> I'm going to get my wheels washed off. 
Matter of fact, when we come back, I'm gonna go back and forth in there. Oh, look at all the butterflies over there on the ground. Oh yeah. So, we're looking for birds, huh? Yeah. We should probably be looking in the trees, you think? I'm kind of, I'm kind of, I'm kind of new to looking for birds, so tell me where to look. <laughs> Hard to say, anywhere in the tree. There's some RVers. Yeah. Last April, I was camped right there by that fire ring. Well, what you hear are cicadas. I know you can hear them. Brought our friend Les out here to uh, look for some birds. He's a professional photographer. Not exactly the right time of the day, but it was uh, where we decided to eat our breakfast burritos. It's not breakfast time. I hear cows back there. We're going to go for a walk here. So we came over here because I think we might get all of those kind of birds around this area. Uh, summer tanager, northern cardinal, vermilion flycatcher, western tanager, yellow warbler, western kingbird, Mexican jay, Indigo bunting, mountain bluebird, gray hawk. Hmm. Total Monday. I'm told by my neighbor that I now have a family of those, a mother and three babies, living in my carport at home in Ahihik, Mexico. During the big monsoon storms, the water obviously was running deep and fast. Look at that. All of the stuff banked up against the trees. Uh, reportedly, this is chigger grass, and I'm uh, bare-legged. Saw a Kotal Monday track. Yeah, I can't even tell where the trail goes up there. <laughs> Actually, I think it goes along that side. Oh, okay. You want to go this way? Yeah, when I was here in April, the water wasn't running here. Oh, okay. The trail was like along that cliff. Oh. But. I wonder if it's be hard to get through. I think once we get past here, we'll be okay. Good. I'm going to do some wheel washing here. Ooh, look at the butterflies. This thing was so in such heavy mud. Um, <laughs> a week ago that I'm sure the undercarriage is just totally messed up. I'm going to go through this fairly rapidly okay. now and see if okay. I splash something up. Good. Try to wash <laughs> off wash off the undercarriage. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 
Yeah, it was just, it had like mud caked on it, half an uh. inch deep. Well, we finally found some birds, a flock of buzzards, vultures, sitting around waiting for us to die, I suppose. Do you hear all the cows mooing in the background? Hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up. And please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.